Hey guys, been a while. Uh, I got some more grands in from CMP. This is what, September of 2020. So, just, you know, updating you on what is actually coming out of CMP right now. <clears throat> I think these are some of the rifles that they had issues with. All the stocks being rotten on them. But as uh, if anyone's trying to find rifles right now from CMP, you know that they are pretty much sold out of everything. I ordered these, I ordered four of them. Uh, these are the new black cased ones. And uh, I think I ordered them um, mid to end of June and I just got them in. So a little over two months. <clears throat> and so we'll go from like kind of worst to best. So the four that I got there are, there's a pre-war not by much, by like two months. And then the rest are World War II, and then there's a post-1955, so it'll be like post-Korea. <clears throat> but this one is the first one, and uh, they all came in, you know, GI stocks. These are all... Uh, not all of them are actually proof-marked. This one is. It does have a rack number on it. I mean, obviously, these were uh, on the lease program. But this is not bad readings. This has a... Uh, this is in the two millionths serial number. So, two... What is it? Two millionth? This is like... a. 206 it's uh, be like October of 1943 it does have some you know, this is the worst one so it does have a little bit of rust inside it was a little rusty it has a uh, a 48 barrel on it op rod's not too bad <clears throat> stacking swivels nice and loose obviously uh, they, the gas port and the chamber are stainless, so these, once they wear, they, they usually just wear the, the blue off them. So this one is, uh, you know, back to the steel on it. It does have the, uh, the older uh, trigger assembly on it. It is a Winchester trigger guard, at, at the least. And... Uh, yeah, let's see which one this is. Oh boy. This is a Springfield. This is a 12th. So this would be correct for this one. And uh, I haven't really gone through all, all the, you know, parts and the safety and the hammer and all that. Uh, this is yeah, another Springfield hammer. It does have some you know, pitting on the, on the, on the face of this. I have oiled them at least, but I got to really get in there and, and clean all these. But I won't go through all the parts on it, but hot rod looks pretty good. Follower, I mean, the, it's just got to, it's just making the, the oil a little rusty on this one, but Also, there is pitting on here the end block release or ejector, however you want. That's been pitted. Under it is actually not bad. Uh, so, yeah. it's quick enough. Stock fit. It's a little loose. Not the worst, but a little bit get a little bit here and uh, but you know not too bad so, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one I mean I I like to keep all of them but sometimes you get these ones and it'd be an okay shooter but <clears throat> I don't know yet we'll see And 
We got this one. Decent wood. Uh, obviously, this is newer, but not bad. This is a five millionth, so this puts in about 1955. Uh, this has an International Harvester bolt on it. Uh, it does have a flat top rear sight aperture. I don't know much about that. I haven't really researched it. I've never seen one. This has a... I don't know why, how it's got a, it's got a 52 barrel on it. Uh, so leftovers are, as you can see, it's a little bit, it's making the oil a little bit rusty inside too. Uh, no real pitting. I mean, there's just a tiny bit here. Uh, it did come with the, the later, uh, later trigger, <sighs> trigger guard on it. This one is, this is International Harvester also. Sorry about the glare, but uh, this looks like a 5.5, five. it's International Harvester also. So I'd say all these are, safety's probably Harvester also. I can't see, uh, it doesn't have the hole on it, but can't really tell on that one. Uh, not really any pitting on it. It may look like it, but yeah, maybe a little bit. Just a little up here. Not too bad. Op rods, decent condition. This one's got a little bit of bluing left or color on it. So 55, uh, the not bad, one and three. So this would be a pretty decent shooter. Should be. Where is it? This one, I think, is my favorite one. Oh, no. One more. One more to go. So this is uh, one and two. Really good. Stock on it's pretty beat up on this one. And it's, it's pretty beat. Stock itself, but is retaining its color. Does have numbers here. Uh, does have the wartime trigger guard. Does have a little oxidation on the receiver. Uh, this is a 49 barrel Springfield. So, not bad for a 49. This is a 12th serial number, also, or it's a Springfield 12, so it's, I think it's what, one to three million. So this one, correct, this is 2.5 million. Uh, some discoloration on it. No real pitting on that side. There's no real pitting on that either. Our product's pretty good, Springfield. Uh, it does have some some oxidation up here. Not too bad though. I mean for field grades. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one. 
I mean, I haven't really messed with any of these yet. Just uh, wiped them down. But that was a little tough. Stacking swivel on this one is really hard to manipulate. I get some. I'll take it apart and clean it all and grease it all up. But not bad. It's a Springfield Armory bolt on that one. This one's my favorite. This is a 330 thousand. Not the worst stock. It's got some pretty good dings in it, but it's not awful. I think something had tape up here. I can live with it. Now this one is uh, proofed also. So I mean, two of these are not, so they're, I mean, just field replacements. Usually they're not, they're not gonna mark them. A uh, little bit of oxidation, but uh, with this one, it's 336,000. That's uh, it's October of uh, 41. So two months prior to war, or you know, a month and a half. Uh, this one does have an LMR barrel though, which, I don't know. And it's uh, one plus and three plus. So guys say that the LMR barrels are some of the most accurate or, you know, some of the best made barrels. And shooting them, I mean, they're, yeah, I think they're some of the, the better made ones. I don't, I don't go looking around for LMRs all the time, but it's nice when you get them. The stacking swivel on this one is also pretty stiff, and then the sling is actually bent on this, so not the worst, but oh man, wow! And this is a Springfield number five, so this one is matching to this I mean it's in that's in the same time or uh, same batch of rifles that it should be so it's a 2SA I think this has got an older hammer this actually fits pretty good but uh, it's not too bad it's got some an E pen here, twelve uh, sixty five. You know, little discoloration on it, but it's not too bad. It's in, like the gray park. Ob rod's nice. Uh, I do you like it? This I think is actually my only pre-war, even though it only dates you know a month and a half out, but. Most of mine I always get are, weirdly enough, they're like September of 42. Like, all of them. <laughs> Except for these ones. All, a lot of them are all the 700,000. But, yeah, nice. None of them have... Uh, <clears throat> windows of elevation are all... Uh, yeah, none non-correct to the times except for i mean the 55 but that's all uh that's all i got for now guys i gotta actually break these down i'm just gonna go through them like really well and mark all the parts all the numbers and uh you know just start enjoying these ones in the collection this one also obviously they're still retained it's it's uh color hangar's a little loose not too bad. And uh, 
I gotta find some space for them because I'm running out fast. But uh, there's plenty of other stuff I gotta go over. I just have not had time. But I do have some more grands that I gotta go over. And man, K31s. Uh, uh, what else? I got a couple cool SKSs that are different. Uh, Grand Power. I gotta go over this. Still the Strybog. Um, yeah, there's a lot. So just give me some time. All right, I appreciate you guys.